Hello, my name is Albert Gurrier, and this is a segment about WandaVision and how I feel it can tie with X-Men coming into the MCU. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. I know I am as well. I'm upset that next week is the last episode. But it's been a wonderful show so far. It's been a joy to watch and looking forward to seeing what happens next. Now, question is, how do I feel that WandaVision can tie in with the X-Men? If you, this is going to get some spoilers here if you haven't seen the latest episode yet of episode 8, that is. Um, in the episode, there's a line between Agatha and Wanda in which she basically says, in which they have this goal between about how Wanda has been experiencing loss. Her parents died as part of the explosion. Her brother died as a result of getting killed. Um, her vision died as a result of getting killed from Thanos. So right now she's going through all this grief, all this depression, all this angst and just sadness. Now, it's been. it was also speculated that she may have had these powers all along before an Infinity Stone amplified them a bit and gave them more oomph. So basically she was born with these powers, i.e. being a mutant, the way that the mutant power is. Now, when you think about it, it's been talked about that one of the big villains in this show is not anything external, but things like grief and depression. Because, I mean, when, when you're losing people and you have to deal with that, that could be a villain in and of itself. Just an antagonist that's just bugging you. Because there's really nothing you could do but just miss people and be sad and just get stuck in your own rut. I, you know, I've had to deal with that sometimes. I know other people have had to deal with that. But depression is just, <laughs> just a bitch. <laughs> Forgive me for the language. But... Basically, what if it gets to a point where, like, for instance, you look at her kids. Story is that the two kids are basically shards of, basically soul shards of the demon Mephisto. So they're not real. I mean, android person, don't think any kids could happen. But these two kids just come about. Now, what happens if, as a part of all this, which I think we know is going to kind of happen... She loses the kids, too. So she's lost her parents. She's lost her brother. She's lost Vision. And now she's lost her kids. So now she's probably going to be feeling more grief, more sadness, more depression, more than anything else before. Imagine if you put... Imagine if now she's realizing or she figures out that she was a mutant. That she was born with these witch powers that all of a sudden just became amplified later. To me, I would think after all that, I mean, also in WandaVision, there's that talk about her feeling alone. So viciously alone after everything that's been going on that she just wants something there to stabilize the life, to make things a little bit better, and just make it easier to process everything. But imagine all that gone. Everything that you've loved, everything that you've wanted, everything that you've needed is gone. So when you think about the fact that she realizes that she's a mutant and she's feeling so alone and she probably feels like the only mutant person, only person born that had these powers. There's talk that in the storyline, her powers were given to her by Chathan. Something happened where, boom, she gains powers, and now she's now she's a Scarlet Witch. Um, imagine, if you will, that in the house, jumping jumping a, to a different story here, in the House of M, she basically wishes for no more mutants because of everything that's happens up to that point to where she no longer wants what caused half of the stuff to happen. Imagine we flip the script and imagine she's feeling so alone and feeling so by herself that she wishes that there were some people out there that she could identify with. So instead of wishing away, so instead of wishing away mutants, 
She wants more mutants like her so she could feel basically not alone in this world. She has people out there, people out there that could identify with her, that could feel her pain, that could that could just be one of her, be one of her extended family in a sense. So yeah, imagine she wants more mutants instead of less, which is where X-Men come from and we have all these mutant comes in and and one of the beautiful things is is we've had a super soldier serum program. What if Wolverine comes into the story and in this version it's Hayward that gets Wolverine, turns him into Weapon X and progresses that storyline. It's just a thought. Just a possibility. But my thought process is that instead of making less, she makes more just so that she doesn't feel alone in this planet we call Earth. And when you look at your life, when you look at mine, do we really want to be alone? Do we really want to feel like we just have no place in this world other than to ourselves? So we just wish that there were people that just out there that just understood Things that we were going through and felt inside. So that's going to be it for me. If you have any comments, drop them in the box below. If you like this video, go ahead and do so. If you feel that other people might want to have a thought process of this shared with them, feel free to share it with them. So this is Albert Gurrier. Goodbye.